Hey there YouTube, Webcam9000 here again. Uh, I just wanted to show you a quick uh, demonstration of screen flow uh, for the new Snow Leopard on Mac. Uh, as you can see at the moment, my mouse is moving about, and that's me doing that, of course. Um, I'll just quickly show you, you know, me opening up iTunes. You can do this all via QuickTime Player, actually, which is really helpful. Um, I upgraded to one of the developer versions uh, just only a couple of days ago. So um, I've been sort of messing about with it a little bit, and it's really quite good actually. Uh, Snow Leopard looks so it's going to be fantastic when it comes out. You know, um, going through my music here and whatnot. Um, if you look, you can also see right there that when you change uh, spaces, it follows it rather than having a traditional arrow, which is quite nice actually. I think it's quite a nice little touch. I don't know if you can. I don't know if you'll be able to spot it, but if you look at if you ha have leopard running at the moment, if you look at your dog, uh, the colours are less vibrant uh, than this. I found that the colours here are a lot more vibrant than they were on my old leopard um, user. Uh, I'll just um, quickly show you. I'm running ten point six right there. Um, so you know it's right there. Um, but it's really, really good, uh, really fantastic at the moment. I'll just quick, quickly show you the new um, stacks. If you, uh, I can't show you here, um, but I will just quickly get one with a folder, so um, I can show you one which has a folder. If you have folders, you can click a folder, and it'll go into the folder within the stack or, um, or the grid, if you if you want to call it. And then you can keep going through, and uh, you can go like there. That's all my business work. Um, go back. No, and uh, or you can open Finder. Also, oops, sorry, get rid of that. Uh, before I started, uh, before I installed rather uh, Snow Leopard, I had around about sort of 50 gigabytes of space. As soon as I installed it, I immediately jumped up to 63 and shut down and start time. Sh shut down and start up times. Sorry, are uh, a lot quicker. Um, than the Leopard version. I've noticed it didn't take any time at all. When I boosted it up this morning to turn on, and it's just fantastic. Uh, I absolutely love it. Also, with um, QuickTime Player, I have found a way uh, to flip my videos. So hopefully, all the videos that I record in future will now be the correct way around. So when I'm doing a demonstration on my iPod Touch or giving a demonstration, I think it will be the right way around, and you can see everything the way it's meant to be. So um, yeah, that's just a little uh, update from me, and that's just a sort of quick. Uh, overview of uh, Snow Leopard, which will be launched in September. If you are a Leopard user already, uh, it will only cost you $29 in the US or um, £20 in the UK, which is really quite nice actually. Oh, um, one more thing before I go. Uh, if I just open the new Safari window here, um, if I open that in a new window, let's say from Google in a new window, um, you know, you got still got Expose, which does that, which is it looks a, a lot better. It organizes Expose a lot more neater uh, than it does in Leopard. Also, one thing you can do now is if you click and hold the application, it goes into the grid. I, I actually that's a very bad example. I'll just open up Mail as well and uh, iCal. And uh, so obviously, you know, if you press OK, say you open up all of them. However, if you um, hold, click and hold Safari, there you go. You can just have the three. And if you if you hover over one of them and press spacebar, you can zoom in and just check it's the one you want, or you know, and you can move your mouse around and it'll zoom into each one. It gets a little bit disorientating actually if you keep on doing that. So I won't uh, worry with that. But it's really quite handy. Uh, I'm really thrilled to have it at the moment so um, yeah but it's uh, it's really good so when Snow Leopard eventually comes out it's a definite upgrade um, I've noticed everything in uh, the Finder is a lot quicker as well um, you can zoom in now using this little icon here um, and uh, if you have a PDF file you can uh, view the PDF uh, and whatnot if I go to movies um, that's a bad example. Music, my iTunes, and then go to my I, uh, iTunes music. Let's go ACDC, and then go back and black. Uh, you can see a little 
play button and then if you press it it uh, starts to play uh, it, you won't hear anything because it's actually coming through my earphones, I've got my earphones plugged in, but if I just hold up my earphones to the speaker here, very bad quality, it must be, but that is actually playing. Um, you can also zoom in whilst it's doing that, and you can see that is like the little progression bar, so when that reaches full circle, that means it's finished, uh, and if you switch to cover flow, you can do exactly the same thing. Um, uh, and uh, quick, quick look through sort of PDF files is exactly same. You know, quick look there. Really quite useful. So that's just a quick um, overview for you all of um, one of the builds of Snow Leopard which I got. So um, yeah, uh, that's all uh, I have time for today. Uh, I don't know when I'll be posting my next video, but um, hope you've enjoyed this one. Uh, that's just a quick little overview of Snow Leopard, Snow Leopard for you for those who can't wait. Thanks. Bye.